Hey you guys, we're jumping right into the tutorial and I'm starting off with my brows. I am using the new Revlon Colorstay Brow Pencil in the shade Soft Black to shape my brows. And I'm just doing what I usually do. I am um, going to shape them and then fill them in. And I have been loving this pencil. I've been using it for like the last couple of weeks since I got it. And yes, I am definitely in love with it. So now I'm going to take my favorite angled brush by Sigma and my favorite concealer which is the LA Girl Pro Conceal and Fawn and I'm going to clean up those brows. Just make them look a little neat and give them a sharper shape. I'm going to take that same Sigma angled brush and another concealer by um, LA Girl by the name of Toast which matches my complexion perfectly and I'm going to shape and clean up the top of the brow. So now I'm going in with my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. I have depotted it and put it in a little container. And I like using this white base when I'm using a lot of color because I want the color to pop. And as usual, I'm going to set this cream base with a powder. This is just a regular white powder from the 35, um, I'm sorry, from the Morphe 35O palette. And now I'm going in with a fluffy brush and a very light, brown shade that almost matches my complexion also from the 35 um morphe palette and i'm just going to blend out those sharp lines that that white base made and now i'm going in with a darker color that i'm actually going to use as my transition shade and what this is going to do is this is going to be the shade that i use to blend that crease color up into so now we're going to use the Nubian 2 palette by Juvia's Place and go in with my first color which is Morocco. It's a beautiful orange shade and I'm starting at the outer corner and working my way in and I'm going to take it all the way into the crease to the inner corner and I just want that to be like my crease color and as you can see I'm blending it up into that transition color. Next, I'm going to take my Morphe M433 brush, my favorite crease brush, and I am taking a color from the first Nubian palette by Judy's Place. Unfortunately, these shadows don't have names, but I'm taking a very reddish brown, almost cocoa bearish like color. It really reminds me of Cocoa Bear from um, Makeup Geek, one of my favorite shades, and I'm just focusing that on the outer corner and then all the way into the crease. And now I'm taking a flat shader brush and going in with a very pretty shimmery shade from all, also from the Nubian by Juvia's Place palette. And I'm placing that all on the lid from the inner corner, just barely to the outer corner. And I'm really packing that shade on. Now we are going in for the kill, ladies. We are going in to do a wing. Again, I have not perfected the wing liner. I really just try to do my best. What I don't show in this video is that I totally screwed up the wing liner on the other eye and I had to go in and clean it up, which is one of the main reasons why I literally do my eyes first, especially when I know I'm going to be doing wing liner. But I've gotten better, much, much better. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm finishing up that wing and yes, I did take it all the way into the inner corner. Yeah, this wing took me a minute to do. <laughs> and now I'm going in with lashes and I'm using my favorite lashes. These are Queen Bee Lashes by Coco Lashes, which I got from LadyMoss.com. If you saw my fa if you are liking my Facebook page, Soft, Supple, and Fierce, then you know that these are my favorite. I posted like maybe a week or two ago that I had just ordered some more of these. I haven't used these in months, but now that I have them back, I don't understand how I made it without them. So now I'm just shaking up my primer, which I'm going to use, and that is the Nivea's um, Post Shave Balm for men. This stuff works wonders, y'all. It makes my makeup stick in my face all day. And now I'm going in with the NYX Total, Con Total Control Drop Foundation. Y'all, this foundation is bomb. First, I'm applying it with the stipple brush because I like the way the stipple brush um, applies it without using a whole lot of product and I know for a fact I used about 10 to 12 drops because I want a full coverage. So I'm using the stipple brush to apply it and then I'm going to go in with a beauty blender. Yes, a beauty blender. And I'm going to really press um, the foundation into my face. And I do that because I think that the beauty blender just leaves a beautiful finish. You know, you see how I went from being extremely shiny to you know being um 
I look airbrushed almost and it also soaks up any additional product that I may have applied to my face so now we're going back in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal and Fawn and what that is going to do is I'm going to use that to highlight the center of my face and I'm going to take that same beauty blender and blend this concealer out you guys I mean really blend it out and it blends into this foundation really 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 nicely So once I'm done blending this foundation out, I'm going to dip that beauty blender into my Sacha Buttercup um, banana powder and I'm going to set every area um, which I placed that concealer in. And I'm not going to let it sit, I'm not going to let it bake, I'm going to press that powder into the skin and I personally do that because I really like for my concealer to be like set. I believe in pressing everything into the skin because I just want everything to stay put and be nice and smooth. I don't bake very often, so yeah, this is pretty much how I do all of my setting. Now I'm going in with that Morphe E1 brush. That is a huge brush, you guys. It's pretty dense, and it does a good job of helping me pack that powder into my face and really set that foundation. And for this, I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation in the shade Cocoa. So now I'm going to go in and snatch my nose and I'm just using an angled fluffy brush and that L'Oreal Pro Matte Powder Foundation in Cocoa and I'm going to set, um, I'm going to con contour my nose with that first and then I'm going to go in and blend it out with the butt of the Beauty Blender. I used to just go straight in with the Beauty Blender but I like to use the brush first. The same reasons for why I use the brush first to initially apply my liquid foundation. Now I'm going to contour these cheeks and I know I don't always need to but today I'm just beating the hell out of my face you know just for the hell of it so I'm going in with a nice cheek contour jaw contour and I'm pretty much just going to contour my whole face um with the MAC um pro foundation in the shade NW45 I believe And all this is doing is bringing major definition back to my face. So now that I'm done with that, I'm going to take some of that Sasha Buttercup um, powder and I am going to carve out that contour. I definitely don't always do this, you guys. But today, like I said, I'm just beating the hell out of my face for the hell of it. So why not? Now I'm going in with my favorite blush. And if you guys have been watching me long enough, you know that it is none other than Max Blush in the shade Raisin. I use this blush for just about every look. Pretty much every day because it is just that bomb. Now I'm going to go ahead and glow up with my favorite highlighter, which is the Laura Geller Glued Honey Highlighter, you guys. And this highlighter just gives me so much life. Like, yeah, I'm going to really, really, really be glowing. And I'm going to take it on my cheekbones, and I'm also going to take it on the end of my nose, the tip of my nose, whatever you want to call it, and also down the bridge of my nose. Now I'm going back under that um, lower eye area, under eye area, whichever one you want to prefer it as, and I am just going to smoke that out with that cocoa, um, with that cocoa brown shade from the Nubian by Julius Place palette. Not doing anything special with the under eye area, you guys, because I really want the attention to be on, you know, the entire face. So now I'm going to do a little trick that I learned from Makeup Shayla. I forgot exactly why she does this, but I just love the effect that it gives. I'm going to take some of that gel liner I used to do my wing liner with, and I'm going to place like four or five lines on the lower lash line. And like I said, I forgot the effect that it gives, but then when you add the mascara, it just, I guess it's to make your lower lashes look fuller because I honestly don't have any. So this works for me and it kind of makes my lower lashes look fuller once I add the mascara. So 
So now that I've added mascara, I am going to go in with that Morphe E1 brush once again and just brush away that um, Sacha Buttercup powder under that cheek contour. And then I'm going to just blend it a little bit because I want it sharp, but I don't want it like noticeably sharp. You understand what I'm saying? I hope so. Now I'm just going in with the dark brown lip liner that I got from the Beauty Supply Store and I'm going to line my lips. You guys, this lip liner was like completely dark. I wasn't expecting it to be quite this dark, but I just went ahead and rolled with the punches. We're going to finish this look off with my NYX Lip Lingerie in Exotic. And you guys, I love NYX Liquid um, Lip Lingeries. They are so bomb. I just ordered the 11 new shades they came out with, so there will be a swatch video coming up pretty soon. So now I'm taking that um, highlight by Laura Geller, Gilded Honey, and I'm just putting it in the inner corner of the eye. And that's pretty much going to wrap up this look, you guys. I'm going to spray myself down with some of that D-Slick Setting Spray from Urban Decay. I'm going to let that dry. And then I had to figure out what the hell I was going to do with my hair. Like, what wig was I going to wear? Do I want to go long? Do I want to go short or what? Oh, well. Voila. You guys now see I decided to go short. Oh, I missed my short hair. I don't know how I've been making it without my short hair this long. This is the bump wig. I'm thinking about buying another one doing a review. But that concludes this video, you guys. I will see you in my next one. Bye. Something